Hello, everyone. How are you doing? Andrea Cox, the first one in there. Hello, Andrea. It's very nice to see you. This is Lisa Harden. I am coming to you live from the Stamping Zoo in a very wintry Boise, Idaho. That is true. I'm looking out on my deck right now. Um, my guy, my light guy hasn't come to take my Christmas lights away. And it's actually kind of nice because <clears throat> we didn't have snow on Christmas, but we've had it the last three or four days. And it's very nice to see all of the colors reflecting off of the snow. Almost makes it okay when I'm out there shuffling the snow, right? So hello, everyone. Lots of you are experiencing very crazy winter right now. I'm sure we can talk about that and so much more. Tonight on our Stampin' Chat, we are going to work with some new products from the January to April mini catalog. We are going to work with some new products from Celebration that you can only earn for free with purchases. And we're going to talk about anything you have questions about and lots more. I am here to um, entertain, inspire, chat, and answer all of your questions you might have about paper crafting. Stamp it up, and I'll probably even answer questions about myself if you have them. So, as I said, I am, <clears throat> excuse me, I am Lisa Harden. I am an independent Stampin' Up demonstrator. One of the things that means is that I sell all of the broad, beautiful products I'll be using tonight. They are from the 35 year old company called Stampin' Up, based in Utah, but uh, sold in several different continents. And um, if you live in the United States, I'd love it if you would like to shop with me. You can shop with me at any time by going to thestampingzoo.com. And there are all sorts of descriptions for events and uh, classes that I have, both in person and live. No, both in person and online and live <laughs> in the description of this video. Thank you so much for coming on. Everyone saying hello. I love it. I can't wait to get to it. And please know that um, I do my very best to see all of your comments while we are working together. But if I don't see them, then I will see them afterward because uh, after I go live, then I have most of the time I have a little ritual unless I'm working on a class where I go and sit on the couch and love on dogs and um, read through your comments. And uh, so anyway, if you have any questions in particular, make sure that um, if I haven't seen them, go, feel free to post them a second time. Okay. Sometimes even people in the, in the uh, crafty chat will help you out, but that's what I'm here to do as well. So welcome everybody. My goodness, we are having a good night. It's like it's cold or something and <laughs> nobody's going outside. That's right. We are in perfect stamping weather. Are we not? Right. So, um, Let's see, do I have a favorite suite from the new catalog? Mm, so hard, but I can narrow it down to a few. So we will talk about that, Andrea. Thank you so much for sharing, everyone. I see you all sharing. Della, hello, and hi, Kathy Sock. How are you doing? Corinne. So if it is your first time here, welcome. Please jump into the chat and say hello. Tell us it's your first time, and don't worry, because this is a beautiful group of crafty stampers and they will take you in and uh treat you well and hello leslie leslie is probably having warm weather she was getting lunch and her new watch notified her that you that i was on i like your new watch leslie that's very good <laughs> that's funny well just always wear your watch and then it won't matter right and um <clears throat> hello becky miltonberger I, that's a new name to me. And so um, welcome. It's very nice to see you here. Yes. And so if you are new, you will see that lots of people are sharing the video. They do this for a couple of reasons. Hopefully they do it because they like what I'm saying, doing, uh, make you laugh and stuff. And um, they want to share this video with other friends in their social media sites. And um, uh, if you do that, and then you come back here and post shared in the comments. I have a drawing <clears throat> next week and um, you'll be in it and you might win a prize. Now, last week we had uh, Cindy won a bundle. 
It's called Beach Days. It's very cute. Cindy, I've not sent that out yet because you have other things coming. And um, so they are going to be in the mail to you on Tuesday. Now, uh, lots of you are going to be getting fun things from me on Tuesday. And of course, we will talk about that. And um, but lots of it has to do with a celebration, right? Lots of it has to do with mini catalog. And uh, I'm sure I used several products from the annual catalog as well. Also, if you are in the United States and you're not working with another demonstrator and you would like copies of your own catalog because they really are best in person, please just uh, private message me with your address. I'll be happy to get these in the mail to you. And thank you so much, everyone. Okay, so tonight we are working with the Hooray for Surprises. This is very cool, uh, very neat, interactive dies, and I'm going to try to demystify it a bit. Uh, it really needs a couple different nights to work with, so we are just going to dive into it and uh, do as much as we can, but it's Hooray for Surprises, and it has a beautiful die set. Look, I've been using them. So this is bundled and it's in the new catalog. I will show you when I put the camera down, but since it's new and it's bundled together, or let's say if you want to purchase them together, which you really do, come on, uh, you save 10% off of the price as if you were, or versus buying them separately at different times. So please don't miss that. And you also probably earn a free celebration reward. So if you're not familiar with that, we are talking about this, all the fun things that are in this celebration flyer. You cannot purchase any of these things. You have to earn them. <clears throat> they are free with purchase. They are free with a $50 purchase or they are free with a $100 purchase. And you can, as um, what I want to say, you're not limited in the amount of celebration items that you can earn. You are only limited by um, that supplies are, or the products are while supplies last. So far, I don't think anything has run out. We are good to go. So as I'm walking through the products that we're going to use tonight, I will mention uh, when things are celebration versus to be purchased. Okay. Hello, Pam. And uh, how's it going down there in North Carolina? <laughs> you guys are probably having wind and rain and stuff. Yes. Oh, and Leslie says, yes, she missed this and loves the idea. I think you're talking about the stamp set. And so, yes. Oh, Kathy hasn't, hasn't played with it yet. Good. Hello, Sherry, my friend. It's so nice to see you. And um, KZ, she missed it. Yeah, it's when you look at it in the catalog, I don't think it shows off nearly as well as, geez, it has so many, it has unlimited possibilities as always. So who else do we have here? <clears throat> we have Andrea and Mary Ellen over on YouTube. Hello, ladies. Oh gosh, it's called What 14 Inches of Snow in the Next 48 Hours? Uh, you win the prize. <laughs> if there's a prize for that, you win it. <laughs> hello, GN. Hey, Anna, how's it going? Yes, hello from Sub Zero Montana, everyone. I bet at freezing North Dakota, Jean. I'm so glad you have some stamping, uh, stamping up products to keep you company, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, everyone. Um, so I, yes, send snow to Julie Raphael. She loves it. I have a beautiful card from Julie, actually. Thank you so much for mentioning that. Uh, let me get it out of my stash. Oh my goodness, where is it? You know, I put these things in here on purpose. It's a New Year's card. It's so cool. Dang it, Lisa. Where's your head? Well, as we unpack things, we'll probably find them. So uh, I have been having so much fun designing for the Be My Valentine class. If you have ordered that for me, the kits are going to go out on Tuesday. Monday's a holiday. Yay. So Monday's will be a postal holiday for sure. It's MLK Day, or I think our state calls it Human Rights Day. But in any case, I call it MLK Day. So um, that is one more day for me to get product out. And I just want you to know the Be My Valentine class grew into a mega class 
because I ended up speaking with my dear friend, Suzanne Nets, a demonstrator in Canada. Some of you know that I've collaborated with her in the past. And we decided we were just going to throw everything we had at this Be My Valentine because we both were running classes for it. So it ends, it ends up that you will get supplies for five cards and you'll get videos for nine cards. And you'll get to see a little bit of my style, a little bit of Suzanne's, all sorts of surprises and fun things in that class. I think it is a definite bargain, if I do say so myself. I always try to give you a good bargain, right? And so um, on that note, let's talk about a couple of things here that are going on in the world of the Stamping Zoo, uh, Stampin' Up, and, and all the good paper crafting things. If you are thinking about purchasing about $99 of product, if you have a list that's grown and it's $99 of product, would you please just jump in and get the starter kit anyway? It gives you an extra, here you have two options through the end of February. You get an extra, uh, you get to choose $125 in product for $99 plus tax free shipping, and you can add this beautiful Stampin' Glass Mat Studio, which is valued at $60. I paid $60 for it, okay? Or if you have a glass mat or a glass mat doesn't do it for you for whatever reason, then you can, uh, for hundred or for $99 plus tax, you can choose $155 of any product you would like. And I just really, um, I want you to give this a try. It's, there's no obligation past getting into the starter kit, but when you do purchase the starter kit from me, you become a member of my team. And uh, if you're wondering like all of the different things I do for my team, you can definitely message me and I will chat with you about it. But just in a nutshell, we do have a team meeting every month and I uh, I don't have hundreds of people on my team. And one of the good things about that is that I can take your texts. I take your phone calls. I take your emails. Um, as long as it's like an appropriate time, even if I'm just sitting in there watching TV, if you text me and ask me a question, I will help you. So if, uh, if you are someone that maybe wants a little more help, um, I might be the demonstrator for you, right? So um, we have a class every month that's optional, but uh, I do have an extra class that is just for my team. We talk about all things Stampin' Up, and we talk about a lot of things that are just about life, right? We just are a crafty community there to support and inspire each other, okay? And I, it's my job to be your biggest uh, cheerleader in that endeavor. Okay. So please keep it in mind. You, when you purchase the starter kit, you don't have to start doing videos like I do. In case you're wondering the vast majority of people who purchase the starter kit are just like you. They're just home crafting. They're their only customer. So, um, I'm very glad to be able to bring this to you. And, uh, it's a fantastic offer that Stampin' Up! has given us. And after you purchase the starter kit, then um, if you want to make purchases, you get them at at, at least a 20% discount. So keep it in mind, please. And like I said, I'm available to chat with you about it at any time, except for uh, the next hour or so. <laughs> okay. And also, if you want to read more about that, again, just go over to the stampingzoo.com and hit the tab that says join the zoo crew. And you can see all sorts of pictures and information about me and classes and things that I like about Stampin' Up, okay? All right, uh, here's the class I was talking about this uh, in January, right now. We are kicking off my Zubilee Crafty Kit subscription service with the beautiful, the sweet Be My Valentine bundle. So for $45 per month, each month will include about $25 in new product and supplies to make several cards and projects. I design them. You craft along with me on your own time because I provide you with videos in an exclusive Facebook group or just links over to um, private YouTube links. 
and they are, so they are just for the group, right? They are exclusive to you. And uh, every month will feature a new bundle and I will be pulling the group uh, and taking their, um, taking their votes, I guess, into consideration for when I'm choosing future kits. So uh, I like to work with things that you want to work with. Okay. So please know that you're going to have some input on the next choices. Of course, it depends on other things like inventory, et cetera. But um, to the extent I can, I'm going to let you guys choose the bundles that we work with in the following months. And once you have enjoyed six consecutive months of Azubali Crafty Kits, then I'm going to send you a $25 goodie bag of beautiful Stampin' Up! products as a special thank you. You will get that after every consecutive six months, okay? Not just the first time. So uh, full details are in the description, or the link is in the description below this video. I would love it if you'd give it a try. And actually, <clears throat> I thought I was going to close this class, but it's not closed because all of the product is still available. So if anyone would like to register for this class, it is still open. The link is still open. And the second option is that you can purchase access to the videos and the written PDF only. So you'd be getting no product. And that is only $15. And that is available to anyone if within or outside of the United States. And so just know that that's available for you. If you just, if you have all of the product or you want to purchase your own product, but you uh, still want to watch the videos and have the measurements, then just know that you can purchase that. And again, a link in the description. Okay. It's a separate link and it's only 15 dollars and that part is not a subscription it's just i'll be doing it um as a one time okay and i also have just a couple of spots left in my celebration launch party it, we will have bingo we will have all sorts of projects that are prepared for you to work on and other games you'll get a lot of new product to take home you're going to be able to see touch feel smell i guess smell all sorts of swaps that I have from all different demonstrators across the United States. And so the fee for this class is it's free with a minimum purchase of $60. Or if you'd like to pay for it, it is $40. And when you purchase the $60, you also get a free celebration item. So please keep that in mind. And I am going to close registration on this Saturday at noon. So, and that would be 13th. January 13th at noon, it will be closed. So if you are in the Boise area, um, it's the 20th. So hopefully we will not be in the snowstorm. Okay. Uh, also coming to you is the February game night, i.e. bingo night. Um, it is going to be on Saturday, February 24th, beginning at 6 p.m. Mountain. So that will be 8 p.m. Eastern and it's on a Saturday. So I hope that's early enough. It will, we will have projects. So it's really a class and a game night, right? So the class will feature this beautiful um, Build With Happiness stamp set and modern oval punch. You can purchase those from me or you can purchase them from yourself and still participate in bingo. You'll get all sorts of supplies for your card kits. And um, I like to make it like a little party at home. So you'll get all sorts of little surprises in your kits and uh, you can sign up for that as early as right now <laughs> okay and we also have february stamp camp coming on saturday february 10th 10 a.m here at my house it is my this is my one of my standard monthly events and you need to register by february 1st and you do not pay until the day of the class what else do i have oh yes and then after all of that I'm going to have a celebration celebration. I've done this for the last several years now. And what that means is this. If you place a combined total of $150 in orders uh, before tax and shipping through February 29th, it's a leap year. So through February 29th, you will learn admittance to my free online celebration party which is gonna be held early in March. It's an online party. It's like a party and a class in one. 
kind of like my catalog launch, except um, we will focus on one stamp set. And let me show you the stamp set you'll be getting for free. You'll be excited. You'll be very excited. You will get the detailed dogwood. Again, I'll show you when it's pointed down. This is actually $100 level selection in celebration. But when you are, um, as I said, when you are in the celebration, celebration with me, you will get this stamp set and all sorts of supplies to make projects and cards for free as a thank you for being such a great customer of mine. Now, when you, um, I can answer questions specifically about this at another time. But when you make purchases that are getting you free admittance to a separate class, those are not going to count towards this $150. But when you are purchasing things like the Zubilee Crafty Kit, I am going to give you a certain allowance of that money toward, uh, toward this $150 minimum purchase, okay? And I will always let you know, and if you ever have any questions about, you know, how much do I need to spend to get into the, into the, uh, celebration class, then um, I can tell you specifically if you have any questions. Okay. So again, it's going to be so, look at this. Is this not beautiful? <laughs> the front camera doesn't do it justice. We'll do it when, when I point it down, which I believe is right now. Yes. Okay. So as with uh, every night, if you have any questions about any of those great fun events, etc., please let me know because I'm so happy to answer questions. It is one of those things in life that brings me joy is teaching and inspiring you. It really is. Okay. So here again, here is the detailed dogwood and you can purchase or you can earn this out of this catalog with a $100 purchase. But if you think you are going to earn yourself a spot into my celebration celebration, then order something else because you'll be getting this stamp set from me for free. Okay. So it's a beautiful one. I can't wait to get my hands on that and start creating for you. And look what I found. I found Julie's New Year card. It is Stunza. <gasps> look at it. Julie, you did such a nice job. Wishing you a happy new year. It's going to be a happy new year. You know what? I'm going to be crafting with you guys. Oh, and she made me such a nice, she gave me such a nice note. But isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Yes, Casey, I love coloring flowers too. It's going to be a really nice class for doing different techniques because the images are so large. And in case you were wondering, um, like, what did we do last week? We made these two cards that I think are awfully cute, cutest cows, right? And um, so if you missed last week's video, please go and check it out because we made these cards. And we had a lot of fun and we were kind of laughing our heads off, weren't we? And I was coughing. Um, that was super fun and not too bad today. Although I did do a little cough drop therapy that came up before I came on with you guys. So we made these two. These are also two cards that, um, well, I didn't make in person with my team, but these are two cards that were in my current month's team card kit, as well as they get to make this card. Oh, so cute. Look at the chickens. <laughs> and they also get to make this little project, which is a holy cow, no, a cow tails caramel uh, treat. And I will say, I tried one of these cow tails and they're quite disgusting. <laughs> they taste like an actual tail ca cow tail, I would imagine. I don't know how they made caramel taste so gross but the packaging is what it's all about here. So we are just going to, you know, we're going to just give into the packaging and maybe somebody likes them. Ooh, I just don't No, Thank you. But you know what? They go with the packaging. I mean, it works. You need the stamp set. Are you kidding, Kathy? You need it. <laughs> Leslie just got the cow bundle. I think you had it on order when we talked last week and I will give you a tiny sneak just in case you're on the fence about joining my Zubilee Crafty Kits, I want you to know that um, part of it is uh, that you get some of these square pillow boxes. I show you like how easy it is to put them together and design a little, put a little design on them. 
Are they not adorable? These are available for order. They go together super easy, you guys. Trust me. They have the adhesive on them and everything. And then here's one of the cards. Would you like to see one of the cards? <clears throat> okay, I'll take that as a yes. Look, I call this guy a love bug because it's not a bumblebee, right? Because it's red and pink. And then here's the little card part. Watch out. It's so cute. Okay, so these are the kind of projects that you'll be making in my Zubilee Crafty Kit. And this in particular is in the one that I am sending out right now. So again, I know, Anna, can't you wait? I mean, you can't, I just can't wait to send them to you. So um, anyway, that's what's going on. Okay. Hello, Roz. Roz is adorable. Oh my gosh. I know. I love bug, right? Because I was like, okay, I've made enough bugs, like yellow and black bugs. So I just needed to make a pink one. And then I saw somebody else did the exact same thing, right? And I was like, okay, great minds. All right. I have some card kits prepared for us so that hopefully, because there's quite a bit of work that you can make for yourself. If this might be one that you just like want to sit watch the snow come down and make a bunch of cool cards. There are interactive elements in here and we will be talking about them. But let's get warmed up by just using one uh, traditional type die cut and some beautiful, beautiful papers. And this paper is free with a $50 purchase. It is called Flight and Airy. Here's a little sampling of them as well as some beautiful uh, ribbon that goes with it. It's part of a combo pack in the annual catalog. Just keep that in mind. Okay, so there's all of these beautiful patterns. They come to you as 12 by 12 sheets of paper. Uh, this is just my little sampler here to show you all sorts of beautiful different designs. These are definitely watercolor-like designs. And so again, you can get this paper, Flight and Airy, free with a $50 purchase. So I've just taken a little, a few little selections of those papers, different things. And um, we are going to make a card that I, I'm going to say I'm casing Melody Hyde. She put it online and I loved it so much, but I'm using all different papers. And I don't remember exactly what it looked like. So are we going to case her? I don't know. Depends on how good my memory is right? You really can't go wrong by just using all of the same papers in a collection because they were made by designers at Stampin' Up! to go together, right? So I'm thinking this is going to be kind of a little like haphazard type collection of papers. And then this is going to be on the top, except we're going to cut a heart out so that we can see that little bird in there, okay? So let me see, whoops, let me see. This bird is not directly in the middle. I think I'm gonna put, put this like this, and I'm just kind of guessing, because we can move this paper around, right? Because we are going to have this kind of free-flowing design. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Since my live ended over on Facebook, boy, that makes me mad. Let's try again. Let's try. Am I on Facebook again by chance or no? Uh, we're having trouble. On Facebook, it'd be trying to let you know if it's resolved. Ha. Huh. Try creating a new live stream or just remove this destination. Oh, let me try that. Let me remove it. And then let me try to add it. Okay, then let me try to add it. This may work. YouTubers, stay with me. Let's see. Okay, I might be back on Facebook, you guys. I hope. I hate it when it does that. This is the second time that it's done that now. I don't know why, but Facebook is thinking that I am going against the rules or something. So I'm not going against the rules. Just cool it. Please cool it. And if anyone is hitting anything and saying that I'm going against the rules, stop it. <laughs> Just stop it. <laughs> 
Thank you, Roz. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna run over here to the die cutting machine. Thank goodness for StreamYard. It helps me out. It helps me out a lot. And um, I don't know what's going on, but I just better stop it. That's all I can say. All right. I hope you all are gonna come back. So all I did with this, thank you, KZ. Thank you for sharing again. It looks like it's probably a separate video, huh? Oh, brother. Oh, look, we lucked out. So I cut this just randomly. I wanted to make sure I had enough room down here in case I wanted to pop it up on. Um, yeah, I know, ladies. Sorry. It, was a, it wasn't a you thing. It was a Facebook thing, okay? I know, Leslie. Okay, everybody's back in Facebook. Um, we chat so much easier in Facebook, and it saves the comments. I don't think it saves the comments for me over on YouTube, maybe because I don't have enough subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to me on YouTube, please do so. Uh, it gets us more access to things over there. Okay, so we already have this going on, okay? And I am just going to go ahead right now while I'm looking at it and put a foam strip on it. Um, I think that's what it needs. I'm just going to use the outside of this. Thank you. I know. Gosh, you guys are so sweet. You're like, well, we're just going to share again. Well, all right. Thank you so much. I know lots of times I think people just go, okay, that, she's gone. That's enough. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, so I want to try and support this heart. I um, The other way you could do it was to, would be to also die cut a piece of cardstock and adhere it, but we're not going through that. We're not going through all that work when this is very easy and our designer series paper is a nice weight. So it's not necessary. So this is like how you'd be making a shaker card, except no shaker window, right? It's just gonna have an open window. And let's do this. Oh my gosh, I hope I have more foam strips sitting over here somewhere. And then in this piece, look, I'm gonna put this little guy right there. Thank you, everyone. It's glad to see you back. Oh. You're sharing, sharing. You're clicking the shares. You know what? If you shared twice, I'm going to put you in the drawing next time for twice. Oh, don't forget me. We're going to, I mean, don't let me forget. We're going to have a drawing too. We had 17 shares last week, which is great. It could always be better, but it could be worse too. So I thank each and every one of you for doing that. It is so helpful. You just don't know. The number of views goes up definitely. In correlation with uh, to how many get how many times you guys share the video or how many of you share the video so it's very helpful <clears throat> and of course I want you to share it if you're over on YouTube because I don't have many followers over there they don't you know I'm hot over here on Facebook not so much on YouTube so let's see here I think this will work like how ugly it looks, but that's okay. Because nobody's ever going to know except you and me. I know, Jean. There's much more of a connection on Facebook, a back and forth kind of connection. Hello, Randy, and welcome. Coming in from southwestern Michigan, which I assume is also kind of chilly. Kind of like Boise, Idaho, where I am. We are all experiencing chilly. And so, look, you've made a perfect little window. <laughs> Looks like I planned that. Kind of got lucky. Um, and so that was just with the open die right there. And then I'm going to put these two pieces down. Again, it's so hard to put these face down. <laughs> but I needed this plain. I needed this um, beautiful kind of plain pattern. But look. So gorgeous, isn't it? It's all beautiful. Let's see. Will this take away? No, I like that. Let's use that one. It's brighter. You know me. I'm all about the brights. And so, again, this paper, free with a $50 purchase. 
of anything else you might like. So you can buy some cardstocks, etc., that will go with these project with this um, paper, and then you can make, you know, you really can make like 72 cards um, out of a pack of paper, which is a tremendous amount of cards. And then um, you can send them to 72 friends. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so again, um, let's see. Do I want this one to be? Yeah, why not? We're going to put this at the angle too, a different angle than the other two. And then our sentiment can be straight facing. Okay, so now I just pulled some different pieces of cardstock that's coordinating, right? And we know this because every pack of our designer series paper just comes with a color code on the back and all of our products coordinate. And so it's very interesting, the colors that come out of that, boho blue, garden green, and um, what is this, bubble bath. And then I just pulled some white, of course, uh, probably for the sentiment, etc. So first of all, I want to do this little flower in um, a couple different colors. And then I want to do this greenery in the garden green. We'll just stick with traditional, but you can make it any color you want. And hello, Tina. I just saw, hello, Lisa. Hi, Tina. Uh, we're gonna use some, I'm thinking ahead this time, and we're going to actually use some adhesive sheet. Wow, so clever. Instead of thinking about it after I've done all the fussy die cuts, so. Let's make this into a sticker, right? And I am using this beautiful glass mat. And I wish, here's what I wish. I wish it went the entire length of my desk. And I wish that um, I'd had it a long time. So it just, it turned into a staple really quick. And this is the exact same glass mat that is in that starter kit special that I was telling you about. So if you, have a list of $99 of product that you would like to purchase, please give the starter kit a try. There is no obligation past purchasing the starter kit and you get a great deal. You can either do $155 of product of your choice for $99 plus your tax if your state has it, or you can do $125 of product for $99 and get the Glass Mat Studio for $60 and we've talked about it. There are other pieces and parts that go with it. Uh, but as always, if you have other questions, you can message me because my phone number is over on my website. Crazy, but it is. And um, you can, you know, I kind of have a good meter for BS. So uh, I can tell who really needs to talk to me and who's, who's fake. Um, but anyway, you are welcome to call me if you have questions. And my policy is always that I'm just answering your questions. I'm a no pressure person in the rest of my life. And I'm a no pressure person when it comes to Stampin' Up! Because really, Stampin' Up! sells itself. I don't have to work too hard at that. <clears throat> it doesn't need me to do anything extra than what it is, which is fantastic. Okay, and then we are going to start building some layers on top of what we already have here. And this is gonna be just a gorgeous little card. And it could be for anything. You know what, this probably could even be for sympathy card. It could be for wedding, birthday. I mean, you name it. A hello card. I love hello cards. They're the best. Hello cards are the best. Because that's a card that's like, hey, I didn't, I was thinking about you. And that's it. That's why you're getting a card. What's not to love about that? I always love a good hello sentiment. And thanks, thank goodness, we have plenty of them. So I am just taking these out with our perfect little take your pick tool. There's all sorts of pieces and parts that come onto this. But I love the pokey tool. It's not what it's called. I'm sure it's called the paper piercing tool, but um, I call it the pokey tool. And I bet a lot of you do also. Okay, there's a couple of these. 
kind of sprays, right? And then, oh, Casey bought something good at the at the dollar store. I'm gonna get back to that in just a minute because it looks good, Casey. You've got some good information for us about calendars. Oh my gosh. So a few hours ago, I had a little bit of a scare. I will start out the story by saying everything's fine or I would not be live with you right now. Um, so I was here working. Uh, I came home and worked from like one o'clock on here at home because, well, just because I can at certain points in time for my job, I can. And also because it was supposed to start snowing, which it sort of did. Anyway. I was, I had this big like shirt on that's, that was extra warm for me. So maybe about 3.30, I thought, oh, it's kind of getting cold in here. Huh. I am going to go check it out. And so I did. And oh my gosh, it was like 65 in here and my furnace wasn't working. That's right. It wasn't working. And I just, I went into... Laura Ingalls Little House on the Prairie mode. I um well she wouldn't have checked the furnace, would she? But I went and checked the furnace and there I could see there were some blinking lights going on in there. I changed the filter. I did a little reset at the thermostat. Nothing. And so then I really went into Laura Ingalls mode and I grabbed the dog's jackets. I grabbed my quilt. I grabbed my blanket and pillow and I shut the bedroom door and I, I was shutting extra rooms off, right? Turned on the gas fireplace. Oh God, this really doesn't sound very Laura Ingalls like, does it? And um, called my furnace guy. Steve from Steve's Heating, in case anybody's local. He's awesome, right? And so Steve, he's got, he he, he speaks like this. Hello, this is Steve from Steve's Heating. He never gets rattled. Okay. And so I, of course, right. I'm nothing but rattle. And I was like, Steve, my God, my furnace. He's like, let's just do a couple things. Tell me what you've done. And anyway, so oh my gosh, I don't know why he's dice setting. We're not going to need a million of these things. But um, he walked me through it. And sure enough, we did a hard reset, a hard reset uh, at the breaker box. It came back on. Life is good. Whew. I opened up the rest of the house. The dogs, they knew something was going on. They were like, oh, my God, because I was because I was running back and forth up and down the garage stairs because that's where my breakers are. And um, you know what? It ended up just fine. I was like, kids. We may have to check into a hotel. <laughs> I know. And I really didn't want to have to buy another one. God knows. That's not on the agenda right now. I already had to buy a water heater, which is not nearly as expensive as a furnace. But I just had to do that in November. So I feel like, no, I, no. I don't want to buy anything else not fun like that. Right? So anyway. Oh. All's well that ends well. And that definitely ended well. And look at these adorable flowers. Oh, are they so cute? All these little pieces that you can leave in or pop out. I know some of you that drives you crazy, but I'm going to leave some in and pop some out. If you don't like it, you're going to have to come to class and tell me about it. <laughs> hey, thanks. Andrea says, this is a very pretty card. It is. Look at these beautiful colors. They're making each other pop. And I'm very glad that I went with this paper back behind it. So now we need a sentiment, right? Oh, this, yes, right up there. And we need a sentiment and guess what? The stamp set is great. It's lousy with sentiments. It has 16 stamps in it and sending you lots of love. Hooray, can't wait to see you. That's cute, isn't it? Um, make a wish, you're the best. Sending you lots of love. Um, this looks like a card one of my aunts might really like. I'm going to do sending you lots of love. Okay. And, 
I think let's do it in boho blue. Okay, that is one of our new current in colors. So pretty. Oh, Corinne says she was just telling her kids they need to get the propane heater out of storage for the upcoming weather in case the electricity goes out. Does that happen often at your house, Corinne? Are you in kind of a, oh gosh, I don't remember exactly where you are right now, but I know you're that way. <laughs> and I know that, um, yeah, you might be in a place that has some extreme weather. That looks a little blotchy. Let me try again. This is a new stamp. so. Um, I may just need to give it a couple times. You know what? I am, I'm going to smush it. Donna Gray, she does that. And I kind of like that technique too. I mean, if it's good enough for her, it should be good enough for Lisa. That looks better. What I was doing there was when you give a brand new photopolymer stamp, there's very often a coating on them just happens through the manufacturing process and it resists the ink. So as you use those stamps more and more, they get, they get seasoned like a cast iron pan. Right. And so they work more and more, they work better and better. But um, in the meantime, you have to kind of get them seasoned. Okay. Where is, oh my goodness. And there's a couple of circles, but they have special tabs on them. I'm going to see if I can cut this out with a circle, because you do not want to sit here and watch me fussy cut. Oh, it's perfect. Because I can do it, but I am slow as molasses. So that's a one and three quarter inch circle punch. <laughs> the bunch of mess on the other side. And um, so let's start, you know, putting things where we want them. Sending you lots of love. And this may have to go down there. Can I do this? Yeah. I feel like I can. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll test that out in a minute. And then I think we should have this. And we should have one of these up here as well. Going to like balance out those colors. And then we're going to do some greenery. We're kind of hiding the fact that this is a heart, aren't we? Let's see, do we want to like bring that out there? Yes, I like that. And then we're probably going to put a little bit of ribbon right there, right? <clears throat> and then after we finish this card, we're going to pop over to the drawing. So stay awake. Stay awake, my friends. <laughs> I know you're staying awake. You can do it. But I don't know if that's going to hold. Up. I think I better do it like that just because of supporting that little flower. All right, where are my dimensionals? Come out and play, would you please? Stampin' Up! has the world's best adhesives. I will fight anybody who says different. Well, maybe not. I'll probably lose, but I would fight. Here's it. Okay, we sell them in all different sizes. Well, we sell them in two sizes. Okay, a couple different colors. So just know that they're available for you. Okay, now I'm going to take this off and I'm going to see where do I put this? Okay, and remember I made these into stickers. So now we can just peel off. It is really nice. And Kathy, I will say too that I have used the foam mat a lot less. Um, I don't know. I feel like the the best combination is the glass mat with the silicone mat on top of it is the best combination for my stamping of photopolymer. Partly I just, yeah, I just grabbed the foam mat, didn't I? Partly I just grabbed it out of habit because I haven't been having a hard time with it either. It's been really cool. So keep that in mind. It's not that it's bothersome. I'm so used to doing it. But hey, if I don't need to grab it, then I don't want to. Okay, then this is gorgeous and it's stuck to me. Um, okay, I kind of had that. Uh, let me move this over a little bit. Again, this needs some support too, right? 
And then I am going to just put, oh, this one had, this one, I think the pink ones have adhesive on them and the boho blue did not. That is just kind of a personal choice. So here we go. This. Somebody's dreaming in the living room. They're crying. <laughs> it's a poor babies. Okay, where's my glue? Who's had that? I've been running around with the glue. Come on. Okay, got you, Kathy. I mean, Corinne, I see what you're saying about your weather. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, and then this here. I don't want to make him like symmetrical, but I do want to have that kind of look like a heart, right? And then, okay, this one needs a couple of different things. It needs a dimensional, and then I think it's going to be fine as far as putting it up on this. Let's dry fit it and see. Oh, it's a little short. Oh, I know. It's short because of all these layers, and one thing that change the height of it is that I use those foam strips underneath this piece. When I did that, those foam strips are actually twice the height of a dimensional. Did you know that? So please keep that in mind. And then uh, when you are placing things, just know that you can mix and match with your projects, but you need to use two of the dimensionals for every one of the strips and then you're good to go oh so sweet sending you lots of love did i put enough glue on this thing put that there and then um let me look at the ribbon it looks like i know we have some boho blue ribbon but it's a little thick for this I'm so tempted to grab that black and white, but I haven't used black and white anything else on it. So I will leave it. Oh, you know, it might go. What about this? It's kind of fun. This is part of a combo pack and it's stitched. No, it might be a little big, but let's check it out. Oh, thanks, Deborah. It didn't. It doesn't look like melodies, which is the fun of casing, right? Oh, Cindy, you are so nice. God, Cindy, I need to have you just in my ear all day, you know? <laughs> okay, so let's just try this because, you know, worst case scenario, we have an extra bow for something else, right? I don't, oh, it's kind of big. I don't, I want to use it, but I don't know where to use it. I think it's too big. Next time, we'll keep it right here because we might still want to use it with this color palette tonight. And let's see. What about, I just want a little something there. Um, I could use, if you guys have any comments, I mean, if you have any suggestions, by all means, jump in. I could use... What about this one? The twine. This is the Baker Twine Essentials Pack. Yes, Becky. Becky, where have you been all my life, girl? Get in here. Okay. This, I think, I might like as a double. Okay. And so I love the Baker Twine Essentials Pack. It is five rolls, I believe. You get like extra white and extra black. But then there's vanilla. You didn't know you needed vanilla twine until you have it. This one, which I think is crumb cake. And um, then there's Sahara sand as well. Is that current? Okay, it might not be Sahara sand, but it's one of the grays. I think Sahara sand retired because I was a little bit sad. A little sad. Oh, it was the perfect gray brown. Yes. Get that other small leaf. Mm. Good job. Good idea. I cut all that stuff out, didn't I? It might work. Okay, let's try the twine. Oh, the twine's going to cover the bird. Hey, so Lynn, can you please try to help yourself? 
not three flowers. Nope, I don't like that. Okay, let's just set this aside and come back to it in just a minute. <clears throat> and I'm sure that between all of us, we're going to have the perfect idea. It's really not horrible anyway. Oh, look at all the colors. I'm dying. I'm just dying. And I like the concept of the open. We're going to call it an open shaker box. Okay, but for right now, we are going to have a little drawing. How about that? Let's jump over there and share my screen. Yes. You share, I share. So this is from, uh, this is everyone that shared and commented that they that they shared. Uh-oh, I misspelled your name, Corinne. It has two C's in it, sorry. But um, this is from last week's live. It says 11.15, that's not true. It's like one, four or something, but you know. All right, spin that wheel. I gotta get a prize. My goodness, I gotta go back to the treasure chest here. What do I have in the beautiful treasure chest? Oh, I have to like it. Who is it? Oh, it's Corinne with two C's. Corinne! <laughs> that must have been the, uh, you know, the lucky part. That's so funny. <laughs> All right, Corinne, as uh, a special thank you for sharing my video from last week, I'm going to send you a brand new pack of water painters. Yes! <gasps> They're so fun. They are so fun. Three different water painters. Uh, fine. It's like a mama bear, a papa bear, and a baby bear, right? You've got the fine, and then you've got the extra wide for doing watercolor wash. And if you have the glass mat, you can use the glass mat and do all of your water painting right on here if you want. Or you can use your new silicone edition. So I will be sending these out to you soon, Corinne. And thank you so much for sharing. And thank you everybody for sharing. Uh, like I said, it's just, it makes me really happy to think that um, I'm doing something that worthy of your sharing. So I appreciate it so much. And good job, Corinne. And, and um, I will say that Cindy shared also last week, but once you win a prize and you're off the prize, wheel for two weeks. Okay. So, um, so that, you know, it's random, but we give everybody a chance. So you're so welcome. I'm glad you were here too. I'm glad you were, you know, live and, um, I will get those out to you just as soon as possible. Okay. That's very cute. And I'm sure I had an insert for it. I don't know. Where did it go? Not sure. Oh, look at this guys. Look at this little thing. I bet it cuts out a stamp. It does. I don't know. Will it add something or will it just take away? Will it add something or will it be too much? We're going to come back to this card. I haven't decided yet. You know how sometimes you're just not sure if you're finished or not? I'm not sure if I'm finished. Okay, but I do know I'm going to make myself smaller. Yes. Okay, Tina's back. Yay. Okay. So again, don't forget flight in airy. It's a paper that you want to earn because look at it. I mean, just put that on the front of a card and call it good. And whoever gets it will be in love with it. Okay. So let's get into like, what in the world does this, um, what in the world do these dyes do? Cause they look kind of funky, right? So I have pulled a different grouping of papers also from Celebration, also free with a $50 purchase. I know you're not going to believe this when you see this paper. It's so beautiful. And I think it's called Most Adored. One side of it has all sorts of gold elements. And the other side has a flirty flamingo and red and white. Hello, Taylor. I'm going to come to your birthday on Wednesday night, February 14th. You better believe it. And we're making all sorts of things, Taylor, that look like Valentine's. This might be your birthday card. You never know. So all of these cool, look at this one. Yes, we're going to try and use that tonight. And we're going to use that too. So sweet. So these are the same. These are in celebration, right? They're the same high quality papers, same weight that we sell for $12.50. Okay. 
and 1650 for some specialty papers. So just know that you aren't getting something less than in celebration. It is just the same. Yes. Oh, yes, you're right. The light ribbon, light pink ribbon was like great on that card. And it's in the three pack. And I was just using it, wasn't I? Hello. Okay, I think that's going to work. And look, I just had it here as my example. So funny. Sometimes it's right in front of your face, right? Okay, let's get to this one and then we will come back and zhuzh that one up. So I just grabbed a little of this and a little of that, right? But we're going to try and make something that is where you pull it. And I don't know if I'm actually going to pull it with you or not. You're going to see how the sausage is made. And then I don't know because once I pull it, then that's it for that card. It's not a pull card anymore. Okay, so let's just worry about making it first. But when I take its picture, I may have to end up pulling the tab. I don't know. Okay, so again, this is from um, that most adored, those patterns. I love this. You've got to have a plaid. And then I'm putting it on flirty flamingo cardstock, which of course is the same as the pink in the designer series paper because that's what Stampin' Up! is good at is coordination. I mean, you know, I wish I had them picking out my outfits. Okay. Now, here's what I'm thinking. We're going to hide this paper back behind this paper and we're going to cut a circle out of it. So I can show you how these crazy dies work because they're like so fantastic. And then back behind this is going to be a window and back behind it is going to be this cake. Right? Okay. This is my insert. Don't use that for die cutting, Lisa Lynn. Okay. And then here's my cake. And I mean, the cake should probably just be pink. Right? Oh, yes, Leslie. The thin pink ribbon in the Zany Zoo ribbon pack. God, you guys are good. You guys are so good. Um, well, is it pink? Do I have it? I have the green. You know what? I think I think the pink has gone walkabout. I.e., I think I used it all. But thank you for reminding me because I need some more. Okay, let's just do this in flirty flamingo. Because we need a flirty flamingo cake. When you love to get a pink cake. I, I guess some of you don't like pink, I'm sure. But you know what? I would love a pink cake. It's not even my favorite color. Make a full pull tab on some scratch paper. I will try. I was thinking about how to make a fake one. Well, that's cute. I think we can make it a little more even. Again, this is the first inking with this. And um, I did... Oh yeah, look at that, it's so beautiful. And then on there's little stamps in here too, so be careful. There's a little candle with a tiny flame. Oh, so cute. I think we should better make our candle red. Um, Real red, where are you? Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm so glad it's a three-day weekend because I really am going to have to come on with you again, you guys, because like I said, I'm not even scratching the surface of what this stamp set can do. It is very cool. That kind of got over inky. Um, okay, we'll take that one. And then let's just do, let me try a lemon lolly. I don't want our flame to be so like... I don't want it to be daffodil delight. I don't think I want it that dark. And this is very light. I don't even know if you guys can see it. See it? I think it will work because we're going to put this on. Um, we're going to back this with vellum. Hello, kids. How's it going? Hello, Tango. I know. Is mom going to come in and get you something later? Uh-oh, I don't think I can cut out that flame. Dang it. Oh, let's see. 
I might just have to use the cake for now in the interest of time. But I mean, I can cut that out. It's not that difficult. Let's just use the cake. Let's just get the cake in there. And um, so it has the cake has a die. Woo! Thank heavens. And when I am coming over behind me here, in case you don't know, I am using our Stampin' Up cut and emboss machine. It die cuts, it embosses. Oh my lord. And um, so it's super fun. And we have it both a standard size that cuts everything. And then we have a mini that really probably cuts the majority of things, but you can't put like full card base embossing in it and stuff like that. So, okay, now I am going to die cut this and I want to show you what this does. So let me do like Cindy suggested. And let me cut this in some scrap paper first. Because I want you to see how genius these dies are. If you, oh, you're so nice, Kathleen. Maybe it's just going to be like a mega Stampin' Zoo weekend. Okay, I want you to see that I am putting this in just like any regular die, okay? This is not die cut on a, on a flat surface. Don't die cut like I do. This is ridiculous, but you know. I'm a professional, not. Okay. <clears throat> and then this die has some little connection points in it. Do you see that? And so we're going to stamp the word pull or open on this. It's in the stamp set. And then your recipient is going to be able to pull this off. What? Do you get that? And so you have two circles that do that and a heart. Okay. They all operate like that. And this thing right here operates like this. So your person like pulls it off. Isn't that crazy? It's so fun. I've been having so much fun just figuring it out. And so anyway, so that's what it does. Any questions on that? It, I just put it through the regular die cutting machine and then it comes out semi attached so that when your recipient sees the word pull here, which we're going to stamp on there, then they pull it off and voila. I know. Oh my gosh. And if you guys ordered paper shares from me, they're going out. I'm gonna, really going to try to get those out on Tuesday. I have to um, teach myself some stuff with my, um, with my, what do I want to say with my label maker, because I'm, I've got to send them out with great labels. But other than that, we should be good. Okay. Let me do a quick measurement of this little, I don't remember what the measurement is now, but it is one and seven eighths. So if I do that one and three quarter, piece as vellum. We might need this and we might not, but I'm going to keep it because I think I'm going to end up putting the vellum over those hearts, but it would be really cute if some of it still, still, um, showed through. That's going to be pretty close. Okay. So now I am going to put this. Okay. How did I have this figured out that I was going to place it perfectly? Oh, I know. I'm going to place it perfectly. I'm making a jig. I need, I'm making a scrap piece of paper that's this measurement. So I need to make, I forgot to make it. Sorry. It's three and a quarter by four. Okay. So we're going to make three and a quarter by four. And I'm not going to, I'm just going to eyeball the center of it, but I can get really close by putting this on my grid paper and, you know, putting it into the lines here. And I've got one, two, three, 
So I go one and a half and then one over. And that should be about the center of my circle. I'm not using this piece of petal paint. I'm using this as a jig. Okay. So then I am going to cut this out. And I'm going to do again what we did before, right? I am going to actually remove the die cut and then I'm going to take this out. Oh my gosh, so exciting. Okay. And then I have this, right? So I'm going to go ahead and glue this down. Oh man. It's like, it's, I'm breaking some rule. And this is like the cutest paper ever. And you can kind of line it up wherever you want it by just using these plaid marks, right? Goes over. I had it come across my white. Okay. And then I'm going to bring the jig in. The jig is up. And the jig is going to tell me where to place the cake and where to place this little piece of vellum. And so then I don't have to hope that it's back where it's supposed to be. I am going to use, this is just what was available, because this is going to hide right behind the cake. And so I'm going to center this. Okay, and then I'm not going to put this up on dimensionals because uh, I don't want to put my pull tab piece up on dimensionals, but you could. You could. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Get a load of that. Now that looks like mm, not very impressive. That's kind of a weird little card. But where'd the lid to this go? More Lisa videos. Woohoo! Well, geez, that's all I need. Okay, now I'm going to take my jig again, okay, put it over my paper, put this into the jig so that it locks into place, okay? Then I'm putting all this into the die cutting machine just like this. <clears throat> you can tape it in place if you need to, but really you just need to make sure that your papers are lined up with the jig. And then the die cut actually just fits inside of it. And then we don't pull this one. See how it's in there? It's in there. It's going to be hard to say, see pull on it. I didn't think through that. But I'm going to have to stamp pull and then put it on its own little piece of paper. So there's the die cut right there. See, and then I am going to I guess I'm going to glue this down. That's kind of weird. I'll glue this down over my work. Like this. And remember, these papers were the same. So there's that. Oops. We're very close. Very close. Okay. That's down. <laughs> and then we have a little pull. Um, there's open here and there's for you. Okay. So you may have to guide, you know, a newbie person who doesn't know about all of your fancy stamping. Oh, that's that block is way too big for that. So you might have friends that are like, like my, one of my aunts, I'm like, mm, I don't know. Is she going to figure this out? I'm not sure. I want to put it on a piece of flirty flamingo because I feel like it's going to stand out a little more. And so normally what I was planning on doing was just stamping right there, but this is not going to show up on the foil, correct? So um, 
we need our flirty flamingo. I put it back. Can you believe it? <laughs> I know you guys. So, um, yeah, I've been shoveling, which I'm basically just glad that I'm healthy enough to shovel. I can't say last year I would have been shoveling. Um, there we go. And anyway, uh, you know, it's going to work out great. I think I have a tiny punch that will work on this. One minute. Tiny punch. Tiny, tiny punch. Within a few hearts, but no, that's too much. Let's do a half inch. This is retired, so don't get mad at me. You can't buy it. But this is also why when these things come along, you want to buy them. <laughs> because I use them forever. Okay. Oh, perfect. Okay. And then this is going to go right in that little rounded part. Are we liking this? What do you guys think about this? You kind of, did you go quiet on me? Did you go quiet on me? Don't go quiet on me. And then we are going to do make a wish, of course. Make a wish. Oh, it's on the top. Okay, I am trading out blocks like a maniac. I hope I can find everything when I get done here. And I think we should put that on a little piece of flirty flamingo with, um, Real red ink, don't you? Yes, okay. Uh, let's see here. We could do, does this one fit? Ooh, it might be cute. It's small, but it might be really nice. We'll put it on, I don't know, we'll put it on the circle or we'll put it around the circle or something. Where's my flirty? No, that's not my party. Here we go. And real red. I need a I thought I had a new real red ink pad. What happened with that? I thought I ordered one, but it may have been copy parade. Let's see. It's been inking kind of uneven. So let's see what happens. No, it's a, it's okay. You know what? I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do sweet sorbet because it's kind of. Oh, okay. No, you haven't been quiet, Casey. You haven't been quiet. <laughs> and in this, in this um, instance, that's a good thing. My sweet sorbet is a close, com a close uh, second to real red. Yeah, and that looks better. Okay. I'm going to die cut that real quick. I've been using Sweet Sorbet like crazy because, of course, it's one of the colors in the Be My Valentine. So now let's see here. Where'd that little guy go? Make a Wish is just going to fit in there. I can reuse this tape a couple of times. I'm just being really quick. So I'm not really looking at that. Yes, I hope that uh, my furnace, you know, the guy told me what was going on and it has something to do with snow forming, snow and ice forming on a flue outside. And I just trust him. And he said, it's fine now. <laughs> oh, so cute. All right, now I want to put something else on here because it does look, you know, a little blank. We could use those, um, we could use more of those flowers. We could. <clears throat> I could have also used the hearts, but I didn't think about that. We could use the, oh, we could use this flower. It's kind of fun. You guys, it's 822. I hate to keep you so long, but we have to look. We have to take a look and see what this beautiful flower looks like. 
I have high hopes for it. And I have a completely different color palette that we're not even going to get to tonight. That's why I'm like, oh, we're going to have to come back. Because look at all these. Look at these beautiful papers. Can you imagine? Those papers are from the uh, Hot Air Balloon Suite. Is it called Up and Away or is it Hot Air Balloon Suite? I don't recall. Okay. I think I want to do uh, Sweet Sorbet and Flirty Flamingo Flowers. And I want to use a dauber. I mean, like, why? If you saw my desk, you'd be like, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. <laughs> Hi, Delia. I think I want to use just one dauber. Oh, shoot. Let me see. Can I find a clean one? Let me find one dauber, and I will use Flirty Flamingo for the base. And then I'll come in over the top of it and do some random real red. Okay. Glad that kind of weather doesn't happen more much in Oregon. Oh no, I'm gonna have to read, see what's going on. Sorry, you're drowsy after surgery. I meant to text you, Alicia. I just hadn't gotten to it yet. How's it going? I'm so glad that you're on this side of it now. You're on this side. But you may not remember how to put these pull tab things together, and that's okay. Okay, so first I'm gonna do the lightest color, and you could dauber both of them. But I'm going to do Flirty Flamingo, and then I'm going to come in with Sweet Sorbet. And there are a couple different, oh, there's a couple different inking techniques that you could do. You could rock and roll. Um, you could brayer, not with two colors, but you could brayer. Different things, okay? And then let's make the center Sweet Sorbet and maybe some of the tips on this side. Okay, and then, oh, what, here's a really fun technique. It's exactly what it sounds like. You know what it is. It's called huffing. And any kids are watching over on YouTube, it's not that kind of huffing. It's huffing. <sighs> Never going to see what happens with our flower, okay? I'll leave it there for a second. It's a lot of ink. Oh, it's quite pretty. It'll dry and look better than that, I think. Let's do another one. Uh, I better play it safe and clean that off. Okay, let's do one that is blurty and then let's well, we'll go ahead and stamp it just in case we want just a flirty. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. But then I'm going to bring in the sweet sorbet. And I'm going to do on a second generation, right? And we'll just do like in the middle out. See what I'm doing there? Cindy, she calls it huffing. That's right. It's what it is. Uh-oh. I'm afraid I'm not going to have enough room. If I want to die cut these. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's fun. I should have done a more random circle, huh? But um, it's okay. You don't know until you try. I didn't know it was going to show up that much. Oh, goodness. Let's do... Uh, Sweet Sorbet, and then we'll do, that's gorgeous too, a second generation. Mmm. I think what I know, I think I know what I want to do now. Plus these are fun. <clears throat> I just don't, I don't want them to overwhelm that card. I think they'll be good though. Okay, I want to do, um, that one's first generation, this one's second generation. I want to do this and this. 
Okay. And then clean that off. There's some tiny speck on one of those petals. Let's see if we can get that off. And then let's take this one. And this one. Okay. Ooh, that white one's really light. That's okay. Because I'm going to get the blends and I'm going to splatter on them. Yes, I am. Get the blends. I'm definitely coming on at least once more this weekend because I um, need to show you these totally fantastic swaps I got from my Avid Level Swap Group. Cindy's in it. Um, a couple else, a couple others of you are in it. And it's always so fantastic. I can't even believe how fantastic they are. I think I want to use dark real red. Okay. So I'm going to, this is a paper pumpkin box or a craft uh, kit box, right? I've done this before. This is not the first time. I want the paintbrush end and I am going to literally flick it into the lid. Okay. And I'm going to splatter these flowers. And then when we die cut them, they're going to have different splatters on them. You can kind of aim this in a certain way, but don't plan on it. It's that's not how it goes. Okay. So you have to be willing to take what you get with this technique. And that's some of the fun. Okay. Hopefully I've done that enough so you can see that's flicking. Puffing and flicking. I mean, like a rave in here. It's a rave in here for 55 year olds. And I love it. <laughs> okay, let me kind of cut all these flowers out, all right? Please uh, bear with me because this thing is not, look at it, it's not symmetrical. So you need to kind of find one of the petals that looks out of place a little bit and see if you can fit it. Oh, here we go. This guy, this one right here. He's your troublemaker. He's a big fat petal. He's bigger than the rest. And he's so helpful. Okay, I'm gonna cut out a couple of these flowers. And then we are going to add these to our card. And then it's going to be so cute. So obviously, you can use this bundle with just the stamps. Uh, stamps, ink, and paper. That works. You can also use all the little die cutting things that I'm showing you. But you don't have to. Uh, because it's this card that we're going to make is going to look great even if you didn't have a little pull tab hiding on it, right? So that's just an extra bit of fun. I'll also be giving you access to um, the Be My Valentine Facebook group this weekend. So if you order, um, if you already ordered, or if you order any time uh, this weekend, then I'm going to let you right in. And you got it, Kathy. I know I'm late. Huh? But uh, so anyway, if you are looking forward to the Be My Valentine things, please know that the video access and tutorial are going to be going out this weekend. And then the product, and I'll be kit supplies, etc., will be going into the mail on Tuesday, okay? And I'm going to do my best to get your paper shares in the mail on Tuesday as well. But I have to work out something with the labeling that I haven't done before, and I want it to look just right. Because it has to. It just has to. <clears throat> all right, we have all sorts of fun flowers. I kind of went with the ones that were splattered. You know. So we can make a wish. Down here. 
and we can have a right one. Oh, that might be too big. Excited. I know, Casey. So exciting for paper shares, right? Ooh, it's a little big. We can cut them off. You know what I mean? We can cut the edges. I think we may have to do that. We're going to do it. You don't know until you try it. We could also put one on here, right? But it's a little too big for that. Okay, I'm going to do this. Let me get it as close as I can. And I'm going to do this one. And put that one as close as I can. I'll get more on it that way. Okay. And then this guy, I wish I had a more creative way. I think I'm going to pop these up and put them on dimensionals. And a little bit of ribbon. I don't. God help me with the ribbon, huh? Me and the ribbon. But I need my dimensionals first. And then, yeah, it looks kind of crazy. I was going to say, can you guys see all this chaos? <laughs> it happens every time. And it ends up being. Totally fine. I hardly ever lose anything. But I am looking for my dimensionals right now. Okay. So, and there's so many fun embellishments that we can put on this with the red and the pink, right? Okay. This flower almost looks like a Edelweiss. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, the German flower kind of looks like that, only like on the large scale. Put this down so it doesn't go over your pole um, window. And then this can go like that, I think. Let me put two over here just in case. Okay. And this is really. Fun. And I wish I could pull this at the very end, but I'm tempted, but I'm not going to. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is pretty. And um, I don't know where the inside went. Oh, the inside, we stamped on it. So we're not going to put the inside in, but we are going to bring that other one in and we're going to finish it off with a bow. And then we're going to finish this one off with some embellishments. I think they're kind of cute considering I didn't have a complete direction. You know, sometimes I like to like pre-make the cards and know exactly where I'm going. And sometimes I just like doing it and take, well, hello, Brene, and take your suggestions, which is always really fun because you guys know, you know what you're doing. Okay, let's make a bow. So this, as Cindy said, is part of a combo pack that's in uh, one of the first suites in the annual catalog, it's birthday balloons and stuff but you can find it online just look up um if you just look up bubble bath this will come up as one of the products of bubble bath that's how fun and easy the um so jammed it is oh god i think i cut that too small oh i hate a tiny tail what have i done there that's a little better i hate a short tail is worse than Cutting your own bangs, for goodness sake. Okay, blue dot time. That was a great idea. And I go through this ribbon a lot. So uh, all three of them. There's a lemon lolly. There is a, you had to move to YouTube. Oh gosh. I can see that most of you are still on Facebook. So that's good to know. We don't have anything closing us out. That's a strange little thing. Ooh, now I'm almost like, should I put it up there? Let me see here. No. I think it still needs to go down here. Good enough. Okay. Super cute. Uh, it does, it kind of covers the bird. Can I make a smaller one? I mean, can I make a smaller ribbon? I don't know. Good, probably. There, that's kind of cute, right? 
Okay, and then this one. <clears throat> we have lots of fun things we could put on it. Um, we have, I'm really leaning towards, believe it or not, just basic rhinestones. But I'm looking through all my things here. I've got iridescent. What color is that? Oh, yes. I know you guys like to see new stuff, but, you know, sometimes this just works. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Both cards are stunning. You know what? It's the products. It's not me. It's the products. Um. Oh, I would like some of those. What color? Petal pink, gold. No. Lemon lolly. No. Brushed metallic dots. Definitely not. Oh, I think we may have hit. I could use a few sweets or bay, but no, I think I just want the rhinestone basics. I mean, that's why they're the basics. You can't go wrong. Now I need to grab another take your pick well. There's three in here somewhere. <laughs> yes. Good night to those of you that are signing off. <laughs> Oh, and you know what? I, I should put this right here that says Paul um, so that we get it, right? Let's see. And I kind of just want to put, oh, I just have small ones left. I must have been using the big ones on some special project. Okay. Oh, gosh. That's just driving me crazy. There's only four. Okay, now there's five. Ooh. That is not funny. Okay, you guys, this is a cool, like I said, just scratching the surface, but I hope that making that jig, my light went out. That's a sign. <laughs> Pretty soon the phone's going to go off. Okay, so here's our beautiful bird card, sending you lots of love. And here's our Make-A-Wish card, and you know there's a cake back there. And you, of course, can leave this like it is. and um, not put it in an envelope that works or you can cut it off like I'm going to I need my long scissors for this one I can't quite reach it with the snips there we go okay ah that works okay it's very fun and our cake's back behind here of course right see it it's ready to be pulled open oh it's naked I'll get that fixed. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, everyone. I hope you had a really good night. I'm not going to bring it back to my face because I'm sitting kind of in the dark. So, okay. If you want to do some shopping now, if you want to sign up for the starter kit, hey, guess what? Operators are standing by right here. So uh, use the links down below to sign up for any of the classes, the bingo coming up, all that fun stuff is coming your way. Please take a look. I'm so excited to have you stamping with me. And thank you again for joining me and for sharing. Have a great weekend. And, you know, make sure you're following this page to so either subscribe to the channel on YouTube or following me on Facebook because I'm going to go live again sometime this weekend. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great night.